you feel that you are being followed. Sometimes it's a heavy pressure on your chest. You are scared and you have only one thought in your head. Is your house haunted? Welcome. There are a few signs to find out if your house is haunted. Sign number one. There's a change in the temperature. If you're inside a room and it's a lot colder in one spot than the rest of the room, it's worth investigating since it can indicate the presence of a ghost. Ghosts feed more of the energy of the people in the house than the temperature of the home. Since ghosts don't have physical bodies, they probably can't feel the temperature in a location, but they can detect if someone is stressed or fearful. They are emitting a huge amount of energy that can then feed the ghost's energy. So if a draft gives you the chills in your home, you might get scared and thus give the being more power. Sign number two, there's a distinct smell and you can't find its source. These are known as phantom scents. It's a specific scent that wouldn't otherwise exist in your home. You have no idea where it comes from. Sign number three, your phone is always on the verge of dying. And not because your phone is old or you keep forgetting charging it. The same rule applies to all of your electronics. If you put in new batteries in your remote and the next day it's dead, you wouldn't necessarily think it's paranormal, but it's worth taking a note of it. The theory behind this is that spirits try to absorb whatever energy is around them. They need this energy to manifest themselves. Ghosts are thought to communicate through electronic devices. Sign number four, there are mysterious noises. Every house settles, but you start to learn your house and what's normal. When you're downstairs, does it sound like someone is running up the stairs? Anything that's out of the ordinary is worth investigating. Can you hear a faint whispering? Is there a weird rasping noise in the background? Sign number five. You feel a weird sensation on the back of your neck. If you are experiencing signs one to four, and you constantly feel like there's something on the back of your neck, you may want to reach out to a spiritual healer of some kind, as it can indicate that a ghost attached to you. Some paranormal experts believe that it's people who get haunted, not places. If you're now convinced you are haunted, what do you do now? Well, I don't know. Not my problem.